What's up, future respiratory therapists? Hey, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how I time, E time, flow, tidal volume, minute volume, respiratory rate, total cycle time, all of that stuff, etc., works together. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this one, I promise you. Let's dive in. All right, so as I stated, we're talking all about how all of these different elements of mechanical ventilation work together in this video. Before we dive into that, be sure to check out the Respiratory Coach Academy where you can find links to purchase the boot camps to help you pass the TMC and the CSE, as well as many um, mini courses to uh, aid you in your specific classes or maybe just brush up on some topics that maybe you feel weak in, like pharmacology or maybe formulas, or maybe arterial blood gases. Don't forget anatomy and physiology is now also on this list. But most importantly, from right now, as soon as you watch this video, watch the video first, as soon as you get done, go enroll in the free resources class where you'll get access to a multitude of different resources that I just put out there, make it available for you at no cost. I will likely be posting this presentation into that course as soon as this is done. So you want to be able to, to, to check that out and to, to enroll in that. The link to get here is going to be in the video description below. Don't miss it. I promise you, you won't regret it. Now, this video comes from this question. This question was found in my comment section, and here's how it goes. If a patient is set on a tidal volume of 500 milliliters and an I to E ratio of 1 to 1.5, what is the flow? Now, I'm going to show you how to calculate this in this video, but here's the problem. You see, I need more information. I, I don't have enough information as it stands right now to know the answer to this question. And so I'm going to show you how um, and what I mean by this. Now, this is going to be something that you have likely probably never seen before. You've never seen this box. I know you've seen the magic box. Uh, this is not the mag magic box. This is what I call the wizard box. I don't, I don't know why I call it the wizard box. Um, the first time I did this with some students and I drew this little triangle up here, they said it looked like a little wizard hat. So that's why I call it the wizard box. Okay. And so, um, but this is how I think about this. This is not anything you're going to see in a textbook. Uh, this is just the way my brain works in how... I can figure out all of these different elements that are happening during mechanical ventilation when I only have a couple of items. Now, remember, we were told that we had a we were told that we had a tidal volume of 0.5 liters. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. No, they said it was 500 milliliters. The first thing you have to do in respiratory therapy is be able and be comfortable with transitioning from units of measurement. So we know that 500 milliliters equals half a liter, okay? Now, they also told us that our I to E ratio was one to 1 1.5. You see, that doesn't really help us much because I to E ratio is only valuable when you know the size of the piece that you're cutting up. In other words, what we do know right here is that the I to E ratio is one to one and a half, which tells us that for every one part we're spending in inspiration, we're spending one and a half times that in exhalation. The problem is, is we don't know how many parts we're playing with. We do know that again, up here, our tidal volume is 0.5 liters. And we know that our I to E is one to 1.5. But I need some more information. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna show you. We've got eight things on this list. Tidal volume, flow, I time, E time, I to E, total cycle time, respiratory rate, and minute volume. Those are the key components to answering this question. Now, here's what's going to blow your mind. If you know three of these, then you can figure out all of the other ones. All you need is three out of eight and you can figure out everything else. Now, there is a caveat to this. There's always that one oddball, and the one oddball here is, is the three that you were given cannot be these three right here. If you tell me my tidal volume is 0.5 liters and my flow is 50 liters per minute and my I time is um, whatever that would come out to be, 
I still don't have enough information. But if you give me three of any of the other ones, I can figure it out. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, I told you I need more information, right? So what I'm going to do is just say, okay, I need to know, say you give me a respiratory rate. So let's just say that the respiratory rate down here is 15. And I say, okay, now I got something to work with. Okay, I got something to work with now because now I can calculate my total cycle time. So I'm doing all this live, so you're going to have to deal with the, 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 um, the calculator here. If my rate is on 15 and I'm giving 15 breaths a minute, then all I simply have to do is say 60 seconds divided by 15 means that my total cycle time is four seconds. Now, you see what I just did? Now I know how big the piece of the pie is that I'm breaking up like this. You see, now all I have to do is go, okay, four seconds divided by 2.5. Why did I do 2.5? Because I need to know how many total parts I'm playing with. One part inspiration, one and a half parts exhalation, 2.5 parts total. So all I have to do is this, four divided by 2.5. That means that every part is 1.6, okay? So four, four seconds divided in two and a half, two, total parts, two and a half, that means that every single part is 1.6 seconds. One part is how much? 1.6 seconds. That means my I time is 1.6 seconds. Now, to get my E time, all I have to do is do 1.6 times 1.5. So I say, okay, 1.6 times 1.5. The answer here, 2.4 seconds. Now, if you ever want to check this, because you're like, that's, that's not how that works. Watch this, 1.6 plus 2.4. If you add I time plus E time, then you get total cycle time. 1.6 plus 2.4, equals four. So it is adding up and it is correct. And so we know where, where we are right there, okay? Now, once we know that our I time is 1.6 seconds, then now we can figure out what our flow is. See, this was the main thing we had to get to. We needed to know what our I time was so that we know our tidal volume is, is 0.5 liters. We needed to know this so that we can calculate this. Now, what we know is that flow equals tidal volume divided by I time. So now all I have to do is say 0.5 liters, and this is why it's important to put that into liters because flow is reported in liters per minute. So what we're gonna see here is very important. 0.5 liters divided by 1.6 seconds. That means our flow is 0.3125 liters per second. Why is it liters per second? Because we divided by seconds. So to get it in the minutes, all we have to do is multiply this times 60. So we say, okay, times 60. And guess what? That gives us a flow of 18.75 liters per minute. Now, I, I know. I know that's not a good flow range, okay? I'm just showing you the math. That's all it is. So does it work? Is that what the flow is? If these are the numbers that we're dealing with, that's what the flow is, okay? And so we don't have to like it, but we do have to recognize that that's what it is. Now, <laughs> here's where this gets crazy, right? Because we can come over here and fill this out. Our flow is 18.75. Our I time, 1.6 seconds. Our E time, 2.4 seconds. Our total cycle time, four seconds. So what does that leave us? Leaves us our minute ventilation. Well, guess what? We could have just come over here and done this right off the bat. Because what we know is tidal volume and respiratory rate together give us minute ventilation. So now we just say 15 times 0.5 equals 7.5 liters per minute. So this is 7.5 liters. You want to see the craziest thing? You want to know something else? If you multiply your minute ventilation times your total parts, it will give you your flow. 
It's, it's, so you see, we could have actually just started right here. We could have just done this. When we knew our rate was 15, we could have went minute ventilation equals seven and a half. And all we have to do is this right here, seven. Remember our total parts is 2.5. One plus 1.5 is 2.5, right? Watch this, seven and a half. Multiply it times that, 7.5 times 2.5. What do you think it equals? 18.75. All this checks out, and I love it. I think it's so cool. Now, I told you I was going to give you multiple examples. I'm going to give you two more right now. So this time, we're going to say, okay, what if we know that our flow is 60 liters per minute? Then we say, okay, our tidal volume is still 0.5. Our flow is 60 liters per minute. And we're going to stick with this I to E of 1 to 1.5, okay? So you say, okay, Joe, fill in the blanks. Show me how we can gather the rest of these from that information. And if you want to pause this video and you want to work through it and then come back and check it, that's what I would encourage you to do. Because this is when you understand mechanical ventilation and the components of it, okay? So here we go. Um, we have tidal volume and we have our uh, flow. So we're going to start off by getting our I time. Now, remember, if we need to get I time, we know that I time equals tidal volume divided by flow in liters per second. So we do 60 divided by 60. That means we're delivering one liter per second. So now we just have to do 0.5 divided by one, and our I time is going to be 0.5 seconds. Okay. Now, if we know our eye time is one is 0.5 seconds, and we know that we're spending one and a half times that in E time, then we just have to do five times 1.5. And that gives us 7.5. And this is also seconds. That's a lie. Don't, don't, don't. See, don't let me do things like that. We have to do 0.5 times 1.5. That's going to be, that's going to be 0.75. Let me just start up this over. 0.75 seconds. So now I say, okay, that's all great, Joe. But how are we going to get this down here? Well, remember, total cycle time is I time plus E time. So if we do um, 0.5 plus 0.75, then now we have a total cycle time of 1.25 seconds. Again, not ideal. So not a lot of time to get air in and out, but that's what it is. If we know that our total cycle time is 1.25 seconds, then all we have to do is go 60 seconds divided by 1.25 means we have a respiratory rate of 48 breaths per minute. We're clearly dealing with a pediatric here, right? <clears throat> Probably not, though, with a tidal volume of 500. So, again, just demonstrating the math, right? So, we see where we have all this stuff filled in, right? We know that our I time is 0.5 seconds. We know that our E time is 0.75 seconds. We know that our total cycle time is 1.25. We know that our respiratory rate is 48 breaths per minute. We can now get our minute volume. Tidal volume times respiratory rate equals 48 times 0.5 is going to be 24. And remember the magic, how to trick it, how to, how to check it off, not trick it, how to check it. 24 liters per minute times our total parts, which is 2.5. Let's just see if this works. 24 times 2.5 equals 60 liters per minute. That's how you do it. I got one more for you. Here we go. All right, this time we're going to do, uh, we know a minute ventilation, okay? So we know that we have a minute ventilation of, um, I don't know, let's just say, let's just say um, 12 liters per minute, okay? Just making this up, 12 liters per minute. So over here, remember, minute ventilation goes right here, 12 liters per minute. And our IDE, 1 to 1.5. Our tidal volume is 0.5, okay? Now, we can do this multiple ways. This can literally be done multiple ways right here, right? Because what we see is, is we could use these two numbers to get our respiratory rate, to get our total cycle time, and then use our IE to get our I time and our E time. Or 
we could say 12 liters per minute times 2.5 is going to give us our flow. So let's just do it like that. Let's just see what happens when we do it like this. Let's see if it works. 12 times 2.5 equals 30 liters per minute. Now we can get our I time because we know tidal volume and we know flow. So now we do tidal volume. Remember, we got to turn this into liters per second. So 30 divided by 60 is 0.5. So it's 0.5 divided by 0.5. And that gives us a one second I time. If we say, okay, well, if I have a one second I time, one times 1.5, we have a one and a half second E time. One plus one and a half equals total cycle time, 2.5 seconds. Now, let's just see what happens here. If we do 60 divided by 2.5, that means we should have a respiratory rate of 24. 60 seconds, each breath is two and a half seconds. That means our respiratory rate is 24 breaths per minute. But also, we can double check that. If our minute ventilation is 12, then we can do 12 liters per minute divided by 0.5. Guess what we get? 24. We can also say 24 times 0.5. 24 times 0.5. 12. So many different ways to do this. When you understand how all of these things play together, you are a better, more well-rounded respiratory therapist. And stuff like this gets fun because you understand all the intricacies of what's happening between flow and I time and E time and total cycle time and, and I to E ratio. And we can now take better care of our patients because we understand that. Hey, that's the wizard box. I just named it just now. I'm Respiratory Coach. Stay here with me on YouTube at Respiratory Coach. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, comment, um, um, and send, hit me a like if you would. I'd really appreciate that. Instagram and TikTok at Respiratory Coach, LinkedIn at Joe Lewis. Always send me an email, respiratorycoach at gmail.com. Send me your questions and maybe you'll see it up here in a future video. Remember at the end of the day, every single day, average is easy. Don't be it.